I did put off this update on my chili breeding project in order to end on a positive note. And therefore I had to wait for something hopeful to happen. As you can infer, things did not go so well in the meantime. Oh, it started all nice, all right. My three selected individuals grew and grew and flowered beautifully. Many flowers per note, just as I like it. However, they grew too much and became top-heavy. They all toppled, or maybe one scumbag plant dragged the other two with it. This happened two times and the second time they snapped. And they had such nice flowers. <sighs> How can I put my feelings most eloquently? Oh, I know. Anyway, I was able to salvage those casualties somewhat, but that is maybe best shown in another video. Plan B. Remember all those Cariolokia scorpion strain D plants outside? Specifically, the one I banished for lack of space? Welcome back in, buddy. You can have this grow back now. Those two germinated outside. Well, now they are snail food. The grow back is all yours. Dropping flower. Oh, I see. You're thinking, ooh, fresh soil. Better drop those flowers and grow more in size, huh? But I learned my lesson. Don't be too lenient with the pruning. The next wave of flowers did almost immediately produce fruits, as this hasty early morning shot shows. So there is hope for the next generation of Cariolokia scorpion strain D after all. <laughs>